My name's Mandy McGregor. My daughter is Matilda Elizabeth Fraser. She was born on the 9th of December 2010. Um, she was born poorly and she spent the first seven months of her life, 196 days to be exact, in the neonatal intensive care unit at York Hill. Um, where five of those months she was on a ventilator and cared for round the clock. When Tilly was born, um, it was it was all very grave, and you know the outlook wasn't good, and there was you know wasn't sure if she was going to be born alive, but if she was, then she would be transferred straight away to the neonatal unit at York Hill. She was born on the Thursday, and it was the Sunday before I got to see her. For the first two or three weeks, um, we would come home every night and we were grieving. That's It got to the stage where we were just grieving every night. Every night we would come home and we would cry for the wee baby that we had but we were probably going to lose. Um, her kidneys were the big risk at the start because they had never worked. They had drains um, going in but the left kidney for some reason was still really severely dilated. They couldn't, couldn't get it to come down. So... We were told in the wee, the wee bad newsroom on the ward, you know, you know the room. The wee round table, the box of tissues, all the chairs, nothing much else. We went in there and they said, if this didn't work, there was nothing else they could do. So every single day you were getting another, another reason to go home and think tomorrow might be the day or... But it was funny because um, the following week we realised that the nephrostomy was working. The kidney had come right down in size. Um, she wasn't showing any signs of infection. Um, everything was good. But they took us back into the wee room to tell us, you know, there is absolutely severe damage to our kidneys. And at some stage she will need dialysis. For the first time ever, David and I were thinking, this seems like good news, because you're talking about her in five years and in ten years, and in the last month, nobody's ever spoken about her past that day, so this sounds like good news. And then one of the neonatologists, Dr Simpson, um, she was sitting there and she says, the one thing that Matilda has shown us is that she has great survivability. So that night we went home and David says we need to stop grieving for her. We need to start being there for her. If she's if she's doing this, then we need to help her do it. So, and that was it. And that was a big change. They're the people that you spend all your time with when you're there. And they're, they just, even the nurses, they, they don't just take care of the babies. They take care of the mums and the dads when they're sitting there, you know. They see if they're having a bad day, they see if there's anything they can do to fix it. They try and support you. So I'm getting a bit teary. Um, when you see that there's um, better, faster, more amazing equipment available that can probably save even more lives, then, well, I, of course, you, you want it. You want it and you want to do everything you can to get it. It's only when you've had the experience of that department that you think it's not just the the nurses, it's the whole team and, you know, they need the tools. If they told me that this is what we would be left with after after this amount of time, at, at the time that she was born, I would have bitten their hand off for it. She's a cheeky wee monkey, she's chat, chat, chat all the time. She's just brilliant. Everybody keeps saying... David used to get quite angry um, when even the nurses would say, oh, she's just a wee angel, she's a wee miracle, and David would be like, no, 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 she's not. She's not a miracle. She is the product of hard work and determination by you guys. Don't go blaming or saying that this is a, you know, this is a result of something higher. It's not. It's a result of hard work and never giving up. And and that's what they, they always said. You never, ever give up on a baby. If you've ever been in that situation or if you've ever had to use the York Hill facilities, you know just how much they need 
the cash. So help if you can. Because we need to be constantly improving and constantly updating um, the services that they have and they, they need the, the latest equipment and the new tools to be able to do that. So if they've got the latest equipment, they can offer the latest and the best care. So if you, if you can give, could you please give? And mine and David's eyes and the rest of our family, you know, we couldn't, you couldn't ask for a better service. You really couldn't. We're the luckiest people in the world to have York Hill. They're all amazing, but it's not just her life they saved, it's ours as well.